instead of Utopia. And um, one of the places that it told me that you need to visit is what's the name? Karamarda. What? Karamarda. Oh, does that have an English name? No. No. Yes. <laughs> And why is it so famous? Because it's, uh, it's there is two antennas upstairs. Okay. And it's the biggest mountain in this the city. Okay, the biggest mountain in this city. Yes. So which means when you're up there, you can see the entire city. Yes. You can see the entire city from here. Oh, this is our view, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's magnificent. Very difficult. <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this man but uh, I think the view up there will be worth it and I'm uh, going up there it's also like a record because it's gonna be climbing up to the highest peak of um, the Somali state of Ethiopia and you know what I always travel to learn so I just have to come with you guys man so yeah let's climb together man oh my god Welcome to Somali state of Ethiopia. Yo, what's up beautiful people? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana baby, right here in Ethiopia. You know what? This is my seventh time in Ethiopia and this time around I'm not in Addis Ababa because anytime that I come to Ethiopia where I stay is Addis Ababa but today I decided to go somewhere else and this place that I am is called Jigjiga. It's a Somali state inside Ethiopia. Did you guys know that? And um, if you don't know I'm here to educate you. I'm in the capital city that is Jigjiga and when I came here this is where I stayed. It's called Royal International Hotel and the man who has this hotel is actually a fan. Like I couldn't believe it. He used to be based in America, no, America, Canada, and he moved back to Somali, state of um, Ethiopia, to build this beautiful hotel that you're seeing. So you know what? Whenever I travel, I always want to educate you. So come with me. Let me show you how this place was formed. Bismillah, my name is Kamal Hashi. I'm a lecturer at the University of uh, at Jujigi University, where uh, we're based now. What I'm speaking from uh, to what am my YouTube channel, who's really uh, in Jujigi now uh, for another three, but lucky to be part of uh, this video made about Jujiga or Somal region in general. So we're here in Jujiga, which is the capital city of Somal regional state. And in case you want to know what Somal regional state is, so is the, is one of the regions in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is made of uh, 10 regional status and two city administrations, namely Addis Ababa, which is the capital city of the country, and Dredawa, which is uh, uh, like 150 kilometers away from Jijiga, uh, the, the capital city of Somal regional state. Uh, well, yeah, I know uh, as Wadamai is walking the town, he may be surprised of looking at two flags, one the federal flag and the other the regional flag that's very fine in Ethiopia. Uh, we're still all Ethiopians, but all the regional states have their own flag to just represent uh, uh, themselves as a region. But as in that, uh, it doesn't affect the fact that the regional states uh, uh, cooperatively work together, and also accommodate anybody or anyone who comes from the other region to, to the next region and, and also vice versa. But yet we still have, uh, uh, every region has its own regional uh, administrator, the president, and also it has its own regional council, uh, while there is still the uh, House of Representatives at the federal government level. Uh, like uh, a lot of things are run on the regional level uh, and they have their own budgets, their own government structure, uh, but we still have uh, some big federal offices like the electricity, 
the telecommunication, you know, like men, 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 men ministries uh, that really help us uh, get the country connected. Uh, we will still have the federal police, but again, we still have also regional police who keep the security. So this is a very uh, federal system, again, uh, which has its own uh, uh, regional divisions, but, but this is something we, we as Ethiopians uh, have a choice to live together and also make sure that every region has its own representation and has a room to accommodate its own uniqueness and its own way of life. Spending 10 days in Jigjiga was very confusing because the region is blended with the culture of both Somalia and Ethiopia. It felt like I was in both countries at the same time. So you might be wondering, are the people living in here Somalis or Ethiopians? They see themselves as Somalians or Ethiopians? And Mahan, I'm a I'm a Ethiopian, but I'm a Somalian. To be a To be a To be a We are Ethiopian. And after being Ethiopian, there are many tribes you can break down into, which can then make you Somali Ethiopian. Even the currency that they use in here is the Ethiopian bear. Very interesting, right? Did you know that we've got Somali Ethiopians living in Africa? Leave that as a comment in the comment section. But I have been here and I can testify that the people living in here speaks both language, which is Amharic, which is for the Ethiopians, and the Somali language by the people of Somali. Now, let's find out how this region was formed. <laughs> When colonization was abolished, there was a meeting held in Mogadishu amongst all Somalis. Fifteen men gathered, a group now known as SYL. Fifteen Somali individuals represent all five Somali regions. And that is the simple start of how Somalia gained independence. At that time, the Ethiopian Somali region did not gain its independence. Then in 1977, a group called WSNF was formed. Shortly after the group was formed, a civil conflict erupted amongst our people. Though the Somali Ethiopian region was represented in those 15 people, we were still not granted our independence. This group that was formed in 1977 then took it upon themselves to fight for their independence. They fought against Ethiopia to gain full independence. They were not successful. <laughs> Let me give you an idea, an image of what the land, what Chikchiga used to be to what it is today. Chikchiga used to be a place full of wells. These wells were built by Yemenis. Chikchiga broke off into just three neighborhoods. Those three neighborhoods, even to this day, play a huge part in the history of Chikchiga. They have historic landmarks, such as the mosque. There are still the wells that were functioning back in the day that are functioning today. And it was the sheikhs of that time that were our founding forefathers. This then became the full settlement of a Somali town. People even from the countryside knew that this would be the point that they could come to find their Somali brothers and sisters. There were no tribes and recognitions back then. It was just, where are you from? Rer Jigjiga. I am from the Jigjiga region. You know what? When I go to Jigjiga, one of the interesting things that I found that is so fascinating is this um, car that they're using here. Yeah. What is it called? Bajaj. Bajaj? Yeah, it's Bajaj. And why is everyone using Bajaj? Because I feel like there are more Bajaj than cars. Why? You know, yeah, there's a lot of people in town, uh -huh. and there's not that much cars. So we use this as a taxi and to go around the city. So we use Bajaj as taxis? Yeah. Like, it's, like I'm seeing a small Bajaj, and I'm seeing another one, like, kind of a little bigger, bit big. Yeah, a bigger. W why is that? So they're uh, it's, yeah, kind of VIP and normal one. <laughs> Yeah. So VIP takes how many people? Just three more, maximum three. And uh, you, you go just when, when you go want to go to so many places, okay. or you going in Hari, you can take that smaller the one. VIP. Yeah, the VIP. The smaller one. one are the VIP. Yeah. So the big ones are like commercial. Yeah. Everyone can commercial. use it. Yeah. It's just Whoa. move. It's just one place to another place. Oh, okay. But this, it goes around the city all over. Wow. Yeah. And it's expensive to take a bag. The smaller one. It's it, 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 yeah, it, it, it varies on the time. Okay. Depends on the time. Yeah. If you if you are going around like 30 minutes, it should be like 50 bill. Okay. Yeah. So one hour will be a hundred bill. Yeah. No, we, we need to try the bajaj and um, let's check it out. Since we are in Jigjiga, we need to have that Jigjiga experience, man. But I don't think I need a VIP one. <laughs> Welcome to the city of Bajaj, the double J city, Jigjiga.
like I always been saying that I am not a tourist but a traveler so I had to have a full experience of Bajaj you know what come with me let's enjoy this Bajaj ride together Somali and I meet someone I'm like from Ghana, yeah. yeah I'm from Ghana how did yeah. you know are you I watch you YouTube. Oh wow, nice to meet you, man. Having fun, man. Thank you so much, man. All right. <laughs> Whoa. Yo. I mean, uh, I mean, the Jigga and somebody just um, recognized me. I mean, this is amazing, man. Knowing that you've been recognized all over Africa, that's interesting, man. And we are out here waiting for Baj Bajaj. Bajaj. <laughs> hey, Bajaj. I need to stop my dad. Hey! Ah, but why, why are they not stopping for me? But they are all full. Oh, they are all full? Yes. I need a bachat. Oh! Man, it, it, it's all, all the time full. It's full time, it's also full, man. Bachat? Oh, bachat? What? Like, literally, I can't believe that all the bachat that I'm seeing here is full. It's like. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'll be lucky today. I wish I would. Is it? Huh. Ah. Finally, I got one bajaj, man. I sit here? Yes. Hi. Okay. We are in the bajaj, man. I can't believe that finally we got a bajaj. Yo. This is crazy. So whenever you come to like Jigjiga, the Somali state of Ethiopia, I think this will be your taxi. fun i think i'm in love with somali music oh my goodness but i should ride through the street of jigjiga one thing that got me thinking was how all the men of jigjiga were rushing for one particular plant i don't know what is the name of this do you have this in your country because i felt like this is only for men because i only saw men rushing i mean i nearly got slapped just by interrupting someone from uh picking his own plants man it's 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 crazy let me know how you call this in your country but i think steven tried it and at the end of the day what happened to him i think he's gonna tell us after this video so i'm in jigjigia right now and this is called church and it's all over the country like everywhere that you go and the men rush for this thing and i don't even know the reason why they choose it but maybe me i think it's a man because the women doesn't take it and you can take it with granules you mix, you mix it, you're mixing it so you just cook it. <laughs> you eat it. Can you eat it raw or you can eat it with brown? Yes. <laughs> and, and they say when you eat this, you got. I know some of you will be asking me whether it's safe to walk in Jigga. I tell you that Jigga is 100% safe because it's night time and I'm out here with Steven, Naima, Naima and then um, she doesn't have a name, you know. <laughs> we just walking in the street, you're just going to search for food to eat. So literally, um, I'll say Jigjiga is safe. I've been here for 10 good days, walking in the street without thinking of somebody snatching my phone. By the way, let me hold my phone very well. All right. <laughs> so yeah, this is how it is here in Jigjiga, man. 